Oh, it was the old lady. Told her one second. Okay, so we got everything. We need. You know the way. You can drive. Where are we going here? Where are we headed? I thought we needed to go to the police station. We're supposed to get a call. Let's see here. Let's just set Al Dorado bar first. We're here now. <laughs> you drive. I need to go over the Maybe case notes. And where exactly are we bar. going? There we go. Car 11K, car 11K, come in. Ah, there we go. We have to get in the car first. KG, car 11K, car 11K, come in. KGPL, Levy King, over. Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. Eleven K in route. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with anchor. All right, so we have to make our way downstairs. They got a letter that we have to examine. If I can remember how to get downstairs. Oh, there you go. Walk a little faster now. Let's go. Into this room right here. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of the cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem. Hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Take this one. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. And the poem. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Uh, once again, the old interview, the husband deal. Let's get on with it. I forget if he's in interview one or two. Um, oh, I guess he's leading the way. Angel, what do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Last so contact. your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. Lie. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. Her brother will tell you I was at home. Husband's alibi. We have a witness who confirms that you are arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad. But it's not true. We argued, all right? But 
she went out and I went out after her and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car. It was a brown Ford Coupe. Clue. Next. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. <laughs> Liar. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Attorney's divorce proceedings or letter. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? <laughs> when we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. Truth. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? Do you know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of her. Last one. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. <laughs> Doubt. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolyta, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. All right, so now we can finally go visit the bar. Like I said, I visited the bar the first time around right away, so. You can drive. Yeah. Fine. Where are we headed? don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good, real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. The same two you used two years ago. You are missing. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you.
have it at the school? Horse papers? Did you open them? There you go. No Got need her. to. She was shouting about it, waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Where's that goddamn? Nice. Missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Just doubt. Go confuse you. Where know. did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. <laughs> Dutch courage. That's truth. Does she attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have white feet. All right, so the only thing left to do, we have to talk uh, to the temp guy. They may look familiar. He should be back here. <laughs> this seems supposed to trigger right, right when you come out here. Uh, maybe... No? Um... <laughs> Do I, I'm just gonna... Uh, Cause this is this truck right here. The delivery truck. I'm just gonna go to the food store. Maybe I don't need it. I don't think it's an actual clue, so we'll just go to the food store for now. And if he shows up, we'll show up. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? By Miss Evelyn Knight. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. The letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. You seen the body? Fucking cased his nose away from the guts. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gut the fucking sidewalk. So now we're in the fruit store. <laughs> Got some nice specimens right here, as you can see. Always eat your fruits and vegetables, kids, because it makes you grow up big and strong. And there's not any clues up right away, so we just have to go straight to interview process for this bro right here. LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night, 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Did you kill her? Necklace. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Doubt. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after hours crowd. But I don't want any trouble, I'm just trying to make a buck. Contact with victim. The young lady 
Arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Use a phone for a cab and then left. Doubt. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Now, she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Last one. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Sadly, this is truth. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> Court order, rights, come on now, this is the 40s we're talking about. Go through the green doors right there, nice little hooch stash. Stash. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. I love wine, wine is so delicious. <laughs> so first thing we want to take a look at is the scalpel, right here. Pick it up. Kind of conveniently placed, if you ask me. But what do I know? I cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. But you've seen it during the war. Alrighty, and the oh-so-coveted brown wooden jewelry so box. What are we hiding? This thing needs a combination. If you remember we picked up that note earlier with the combination, it's two, there we go, five, and three. Bingo. There you go. I don't think we have to look at every single this one. This brute skull punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms out. Clip! <laughs> Well, I didn't see that happening. It's an actual car chase this time. No one burning holes into our shoes. Once again, just be careful with the car chase scene. Because you can completely ruin a 5 star mission by just driving really badly like I am right there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, almost killed the dude. Try to get a little closer. And use your brake as often as you possibly can. Oh no. No! <laughs> Should have grabbed him when we had the chance, though. When we had the chance, we didn't know he all right, was our guy. Alright, nice. It's alright so far. We just have to pray that our partner does a lucky shot here. It's strange that he keep a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted oh, to no, 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 no. Ah. There we go. I'm still with him. I'm still with him. I still got him. Oh, this is gonna go flying! There's no such thing as two perfect. Uh, power slide, Tokyo Drift style, again around the corner. Oh, hit the sign. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can catch him right here. Don't go to sleep on me. Give me back in close. Come on, hit him. There we go. Nice shot. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Oh, hit him. There we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, he's running now. What? It just showed him running. That was a glitch. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fee and a personal visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. <laughs> Don't mind me, box one to myself. 
Okay, support. Uh, a little bit of vehicle damage, a little bit of city damage, uh, a lot of city damage. Ah, uh, still five stars. <laughs> Alright, that is the end of the mission, guys. Thank you for watching, and if you don't mind, if you can just leave the video a quick rating, it just helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!